What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jam and Natalie Champay. And we are going to be playing a brand new tabletop game for you all. Finally got the tabletop set up here at Full Grip Games in the brand new studio. I've got Lost March on my side. And Natalie, what do you got over there? Uh, Blastephalon, Naganado. So these are both brand new archetypes from the upcoming Lost Thunder set. We are going to be going through these decks and uh, just playing a best of three set, see how they end up going. The idea of Lost March is to attack with Jump Luff and Natu. They do 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon that are in the Lost Zone. So I'll be using these purple dice over here to count how many Pokemon I have set aside in my own Lost Zone. And then, Natalie, what's the kind of point of your deck? Um, so Blacephalon for uh, two fire energy does startle head where you do 50 times the amount of energy attached to your Pokemon that you want to put in the lost zone. So you can take any energy from any of your field on your Pokemon and put them in the lost zone. It's 50 times the number of our fire energy that you do. And Naganadel puts a poke, uh, puts a basic energy attached to uh, or puts a basic energy from the discard to itself uh, once per turn, kind of like an electric, but it's only to itself. And uh, so you put the energy on the Naganadel and put the energy in the lost zone to do 50 times. There you go. And are these the uh, this I think is the the limitless yeah TCG limitless the limitless scans. So they're in English, so scans. we won't make too many mistakes. Hopefully, with the, what the cards do. I'm just really disappointed that the translation startle head. Uh, yeah. I think it was mind blown or something. I think that, that, yeah. might, that might be the, I don't know, is that the actual? The GX, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, um, but hopefully these aren't the actual names. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting than Startlehead. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's the point. Doesn't he like blow his head up and stuff? I think so. So yeah. I, That's why I liked mind blown. Well, that's yeah. pretty cool. Uh -huh. yeah. Mind blown. I'm not sure where they got cool. the English names from. Maybe those are, maybe that's like directly, I don't know. I, I don't actually know. don't know. I'm hoping that they aren't official official yet because I really like the idea. Mind blown was cool. Mind blown. I do right? remember that. Uh, Blacephalon is a pretty crazy Pokemon. Apparently it blows its noggin up and yeah. that's how it attacks its opponents. Right. So that's pretty wild. But I'm not going to lie, I'm very excited to be playing a Jump Luff deck. It's very I cool. I also love Jump Luff. I love Jump Luff. Nat 2 is cool as so, well. These are like our first drafts of the list. I based them off of some of the Japanese lists that were doing well. Um, so I don't know, like, you know, we played a couple of uh, hands and then played a couple of games and I don't. You know, I don't know how great they are, but they're a good starting point. Exactly. All right, Natalie, would you like heads or tails? Heads, please. All right, so she calls heads. And tails it is. I'll be going first. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get set up. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I am not super familiar with this list. This is literally the first game I will have ever played with Lost March. So brand new here, still figuring things out. We're going to be figuring things out together. But I definitely trust Natalie's deck building skills. She said she pulled, uh, she did some, uh, you know, some kind of sample hands with it. Yes. Uh, and good luck. Good luck. Yes. All right. Let's see. So we're thinking just in our initial thoughts that this deck should be favored. Like should. Yeah, probably. You know, probably be favored. Right. Uh, the mountain migration is just so insane on that Trumpy. Oh, Trumpy gets like crazy. It's completely nuts, right? Um, so I'm thinking like we could just like Lele for Elm just seems like Elm so is good. Like, like super good. Well, you really want to get the early Elm, I think. The first list I made, I was like, I don't think a point of four Elm looks seems even good, and so I put right. like two Elm in there and more Lily. And uh -huh. I was drawing some hands, and I was like, you really need Elm. Right. So we bumped it back up to four Elm, and it's great because you can grab Skip Plume with exactly. The Elm, so. so I think that I'm just gonna go in and Ultra Ball away Lost Mixer and Rescue Stretcher. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure like. How often are you really gonna be using Rescue Stretcher either? Rescue Stretcher a good amount because your Pokemon get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But then um, like, like using you Natu, send the... you need to get the Natus back. I'm gonna um, lay here. It's also nice to like. It's also nice if, so you can Ultra Ball them away and then put them back in the deck and get them later. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball for Elm's Lecture and then I'm gonna play Elm's Lecture here. The um. So let's see. I'm gonna get Hopip. I do love that we could just get Hopip, Hopip. And then we can also get a skip loom, which is super good. Um, so that's that's just a great explosive start. And then as soon as we evolve into skip looms, we just start, what does it say, flower way in the sky. Yeah. We just start using the ability, pitching the skip looms and the hop ips into the loss zone. And uh, that ability is just incredible. Goes think, and searches um, out the jump left automatically there. We'll get a good idea of how many stretcher we need after this. Also going to use this trum beak, okay. which pitches itself to the loss zone. So that, what, does it go back on top? Back on top. Okay. I'm pretty sure, right? Cool. So uh, if it, yeah, it return it. If it is a supporter, you put it in the lost zone. Okay, so, so we'll, uh, yeah, we'll put that up there. We got one in the lost zone already. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass it out. All right. I'll draw. This is a hand. Yeah. Uh, Acrobike. Acrobike. So what kind of cards do you play in that deck, Natalie, to help get things into the discard pile? Or... Um, 
well, some of the lists are playing four Sightseer, which is a new supporter where you can discard as many cards as you're in your hand as you'd like before playing it and then drop to five. But I wasn't sure if I liked that. Yeah. Um, so uh, I play, I mean, they're playing Acro Bikes and they're playing Ultra Balls and they're playing Mysterious Treasures. So I thought that it seemed like overkill to play four of the Sightseer. So I played two. I think, like, we'll see if it's good or not. Um, yeah, in your test away. hands, you were saying you were kind of like back and forth. At first, you were like, well, it's first bad. Like, then it's you were bad. like, it's yeah. good. I'm going to Lele. Yeah. For. Yeah, I'm going to Lily. Okay. Um, and like. Here, like, I could get a Sightseer because I have a handful of energy, but I you just had rather would draw ball. more. Right, right, exactly. And, you know, like, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, and it just plays, like, it plays Acro Bikes, it plays Ultra Balls, it plays Mysterious Treasure, it plays one of the Heat Factory Prism Star, which is you discard a fire and draw three. So I think you have plenty of ways to get fire into the discard pile. And Sightseer really is kind of underwhelming. If you have a card you want in your hand, you're only drawing, like, four. Right. You know? So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to try to write it off. Like, every list was playing it, so I figure, like, I should keep it's it It's probably in. at least decent. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attach here for turn, and Lily for six. Right. Two, three, so, like, four, exactly. Five, Maybe Sightseer six. for five, or Lily for six, with two energy in hand. I'd rather right. Lily for six. And here, I'm going to Mysterious Treasure, another fire. Yeah, exactly. Fire. Exactly. So. I'd rather just draw more cards, especially on the first turn of the game. That turn one Lily is just still so good. I'm definitely still a fan of Lily overall. It does play, um, it does play, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Ultra Space also to get your, because uh, most of your, you, except for the Lele's, everything is an Ultra Beast. Exactly. Um, and then do you play Ultra Beast or uh, Beast Ring as well? Yes, there are four Beast Ring in this. Okay. Um, which so is really good. Tons of ways to accelerate energy. Because you're not getting a lot of energy to play, and you might have to discard like energy off of your Blacephalon to attack sometimes. It's not right. against this, probably, but. Um, uh, you know, uh, so like you, sometimes you need to actually get to the active, and so the beast ring helps because you could just put two fire on the active and re resume attacking. Exactly, um, that makes I, sense. I think, um, so like I said, I think this is like a good place to start, but I'm not sure. Like I don't know about the sightseer. Like I was saying, I feel like I want more draw cards that aren't the sightseer. But right. There is one Kiawe also. I would have liked Kiawe with that hand, but I had no supporter, so I had to get something else. Um. So what's that first attack? You can actually burn Burst me? Burst burner. Right? Um, confused and burned. I actually don't have a burn marker right now. so I don't have a burn um, marker, but that's fine. Will, yeah, we'll, yeah. Use, we'll use Jigglypuff. Right. Here. Jigglypuff. Plumaluff. Couple things here. One, Natalie should probably use her Burst GX, but we end up figuring that out later. Second, you're going to find out Andrew has no idea how burn works. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, And confused. Yeah. Okay. Um, it won't, I mean, it won't matter. And then burn, you, f you roll, and then if, if heads, you're cured. And I think if, I take 30 no matter what, though. Uh, yeah. yeah 20, is do. it 20? It's 30. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, tails. I think I take the 30 for yeah. burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there we go. And I'm not healed of it. 30 is automatic. And I am confused. All right. Draw for turn. Sorry about the, uh, the Jigglypuff, guys. I don't know. Oh, that's fine. We yeah, need yeah, a burn yeah. marker. Here we, we go. Don't I don't think lot. that you're going to be using burn anymore, no. though. So, we're going to evolve there. And we're going to trigger that ability, flower away in the sky to and go. You don't ahead. have to use it right away, also. Which oh, is cool. you don't? No. Just the turn it comes in? Yes. Just whenever? Yes. Oh, it says once during your turn. Crazy. Yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and trigger that, though, and pitch these two guys to the lost zone. Uh, then Wait, I did also... you keep the damage? Uh, yeah, yeah, I okay. do keep, keep the, damage the damage for sure. And then I'm going to evolve this one as well. And yeah, flower away into the sky. I'm going to go get myself another jump bluff. So now we've got two of those in play. We can see how quickly, you know, we're at 100 damage now. That's very good. Let's go ahead, slap that choice. Do we have no retreat as well? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. That's the amazing. The Skiploom has a retreat. I I'm think play, the does, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sure. play Cynthia, draw Skip six Bloom? cards. Skiploom doesn't actually either. Yeah, so we've, we've got free retreat on everybody. That's very good. And just being able to evolve that, you know, jump straight into a stage two. So good. I will say our stage two does only have 70 hit points. Yeah, that he's very is, small. He's very small for an evolution Pokemon, but that's fine. I still... Still am digging him for sure. So we're rocking well, it's 130. It's basically a stage one. You only have to evolve it once. Exactly. And it goes and gets we're rocking 130 right now. I'll draw six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we want to great ball. Let's right. go ahead and great ball here. Was it top seven? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ain't nothing wow, there for me. Wow, I haven't me. failed a great ball yet. Yes. No, I was really liking the great ball. Yes. I started off with like two or three and four net ball, and I found the net ball to be a little excessive. Right. Um, so I switched, and then the great balls were getting me things. Like I would like, 
I would play supporter and like not have any Pokemon to put into the Lost Zone, but I'd have two Great Balls and hit like Trumbeak off the off the Great Ball, right. which is great. So I mean, even there, just a uh, let's see, just a uh, a single Hopip or a Skiploom would have right, gotten right. me two more in the discard pile or two in the Lost Zone, which would have been really good there. Uh, let's see, I don't think yeah, there's nobody that I want to rescue Stretcher yet. So let's uh, actually can only oof. This is looking a little bit sketchy here. Let's get the GX counter there. Kind of reorganize some things. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna bench this Natu, and then I'm also going to hmm. Yeah, you know, bench my Oranguru here. I'm gonna go ahead and slap that energy there and just instruct for one. Okay. And we're just gonna loss march for 130 damage. Okay. So Turn two, 130 is not That's bad. Good. Uh, I think I was very close to making that a turn to not 190, yeah. though. If I just hit a skip loom off of that uh, great ball. So we were in there. We oh, were well, in the money. Naginato? For sure. We were out there swinging for the fences. Um, I'll Ultra Ball to fire. Okay. See, like, I don't see the need for Sightseer. You have so many fire energy in this deck. This is place 15. Some of the lists I was seeing were playing 16. That was a question that I did have for you, is how many fires are yes, you playing? Yes, 15. I'm gonna put, we're going to put the list in the description for yeah. both of you guys, uh, or for everybody to see both of them. Um, it, but, yeah, I played... The list I started with had 16. I wanted more draw, so I cut one uh, for another Lily. Right. Um, and it's been fine. I mean, like, you B-string sometimes, too, and stuff like that, but... That is um, true. You definitely want as many like, fire you. energy as you can because you want to be able to accelerate energy from the discard pile and to play with Naginadel. You want to be able to B-string as well. Right. And you need to attach energy. And once you send that energy to the Lost Zone, it is it gone. Right. So, you know, it might, you know, 15, 16 energy, definitely, definitely uh, correct as far as, like, you know, the ballpark for energy count goes. And I'll play, I'll use Ultra Space. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to grab uh, another Naginato. Yeah. And now you can see Natalie's setting up very good on turn two as well. Yeah. You can get two more energy accelerated in the play. You see, if she wanted to get the turn two 200, she's got it. Right. You know, she definitely could. And then if I were to respond and knock out the Blastephalon, you can see how easy it would be for her to just hit another B-string. Right. Accelerate a couple more fires into play and just do another 200 damage, right? Um, so I'll charge up here. Yeah. And I'll charge up here. Yes. And you see how smooth this deck is running. It's very good. And she can also attack with those Naginadels as yes. well. So it's just good all around for um, sure. Let's go ahead and, you know, just in case you need to put can another. Can you, yeah. Another are these, are these fine to see? Yep, they're okay. fine. Yep. Um, so let's, on the off chance you don't hit an energy, let's do one here. Yeah. Um, and I'll take prize. Right. Okay. So there we go. Uh, Natalie's taking a prize. I have taken none. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna skip again, skip ahead here. I guess technically we promote the jump up. Yeah, it's retreat. retreat. Yep. So let's go ahead and draw. Now we are going to just slap a DC onto the Natu here. Probably just bench another Natu. Instruct for one. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and try Great Ball again. Top seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. I'm already liking what I see here. We're just gonna grab that skip loom. And then we're gonna evolve here, flower Search away into the sky. I do yeah. know that the okay, uh, that jump off yeah. is in there, yes. Uh, so I saw that as well on my on my great ball. Very good. So we've got another jump off in play, and gosh, this deck seems solid. I mean, we got seven yeah. in the loss zone now. We're cranking out 140. You know, now we pretty much hit one or two more Trumbeaks, and we're just guaranteed one hit KOs on everything from here on out. Right. We just need oh, to we're stream have to get in here with attackers, right? On my on my end, I just need to continue streaming attackers to kind of make the dream work here. And we can see, even though I, I guess we have what like three Natus, you know, four jump bluffs, right? Uh, four, three Natu, four, four, four jump bluffs. Yeah, yeah. So we have four jump bluffs. That's plenty of attackers, really. Uh, let's go ahead and just lost march for knockout. Okay. Take our two prizes there. And yeah, we are cool. We're chilling here with this uh, bench. Naginato. Definitely feel solid. Um, I'm gonna attach to Naginato. Sure. Um, oh, I can. It goes. Oh, it can goes right to the active. So I'm gonna attach here. It can go to the active. Yeah. So to the then bench. you can. Um, because right. if I hit a B string here, I'm gonna put the B string energy probably here or I'm here. Um, right. But like, I'm guaranteed an attack this way. Exactly. So um, I want to make sure that I don't miss an attack this turn. Right. I feel Do like that. trading with Naginate Elves feels right. Better, yeah, yeah, it feels for better. sure. Yeah, slap that down. Especially now that my 
you know, my board position is kind of ramping up. Um, I'll ultra space. Yeah. What's crazy is if you can just stream Naganadels from here on out, right. you could potentially even knock out my Lele with the Naganadel on, right. the, on the turn the when Naganadel you have three prizes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to put this here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab... What's I'm crazy is you can get the poiples. Yeah, you yeah, can get I'm the poiples. But um, I'm going to grab the Blacephalon. I already have four prizes down. If you really wanted to Guzma twice to win, you know, yeah, you got it already. Exactly. So I'm just going to thin my deck. And uh, I'll sit yeah. Sure. Well, these decks definitely feel very powerful. I think that, honestly, I feel like with Lost March in existence, I feel like the Shrine decks are pretty much done. I, I feel know. like the, the Shrine decks as we know them are done. Like the... Uh, it's traditional Buzzwool, uh, you know, Buzzwool Shrine deck. Garbodor is still uh, pretty good against. Uh, Garbodor seems good. It can March. trade very well. It might need to be more of a Garbodor Shrine deck and less of a Buzzwool Shrine deck now. It could be, and Buzzwool probably still sees Three, play in them just because four, it's good five, against six. odd things like Zoroark. But honestly, this deck seems to do very well against Charge Zoroark up. as well. Uh, I mean, honestly, you would just have a field day against Zoroark. Charge I feel up. like. Right. Uh, just being able to um, hit the, that damage so easily. Let's... I did hit a B-string. I think I'm going to B-string with Spoipo, actually. That I think, actually I think doesn't like feel bad done. at all. Yeah. I think I'm done with this Yeah, this yeah. Situation. You don't want to go into Blacephalon anymore, for sure. You want to hope that my machine kind of clogs up and that I can't really get things going. Yeah, um, for sure. So in our early testing, Lost Mixer actually didn't seem super needed, right? Like, right, yeah. Like, well, it started off with four. I was like, this deck card seems so good. How do you not play four of it? Right. And, like, some lists were playing, like, two. Some were playing four. Some were playing three. And I wasn't really sure. And it started off with four. And, like, I was drawing hands with it, and I was just never, like, never needing it. Because the, the Jump Bluff line puts itself in the Lost Zone. The um, the Trumpy puts itself in the Lost Zone. Right. I often didn't have the two Pokemon to put into the to Lost Zone because you don't have a lot of other Pokemon other than that. You have a Lele, you have a Ranguru, and we also play a Beacon Vulpix. Right. Um, so, like, that's really good with Lost Mixer if you Beacon um, and get the Pokemon to put them in. But otherwise, it just didn't seem very good. Right. I thought, like, just more search cards seemed better. I agree. But I want to start with it in case it's just, like, really off the mark to not play oh, many yeah. of them. So, I think, like, it is off the mark to not play any. Right. But well, two right. seems fine. Three two seems, seems like fine. Two seems like it might be fine. Yeah. I, I cut down to three in that they're three in this current list that we're playing yeah um so let's three feels right because even now like you might want to just get to that extra level where you're doing right. like 250 let's go ahead and turning poison yeah turning poison yes. that's an interesting attack name i had to <laughs> i had to see which point was better this one technically is better i think draw for turn um all right you can look at your prize cards oh, with okay. this one so i think Very this cool. one's better than the forbidden you said Light there one. are three double colorless energy in this deck there are three and then five grass okay five grass um, um, that's fine. Before uh, anybody asks about the super boost, I don't know. We like you could put the super boost in instead of the fifth grass. We don't think it beats Shuckle anyway. No, Shuckle's like, gonna be playing. They're removal. playing hammers. You know, you knock out one Shuckle, they'll knock you out back. Pitch sure. him into the lost zone. Eight. Yeah. So look at your top deck. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, get Ooh, him out of here, lost uh, zone. My lost zone. Yeah. All right. So we got a Guzman in the lost Goodbye. zone. <laughs> Busted. Honestly, so good. Let's see here. Now, what do we want to do? I think we want to shuffle. Well, we're going in with this thing, unfortunately, the Nat 2 here. And we're going to rescue Stretcher. We're actually going to just put that onto the bench. Yeah. That's fine. And let's instruct for one. OK, that's interesting. And then, all right, so I'm just going to go. You can ultra uh, space if you would like to check your deck also. I think I'm good, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go off with the Natu here and just Lost March for Knockout. Okay. Casual 160 damage into a Psychic Week Pokemon. So rocking like, you know, 320. Pretty <laughs> good. I'll draw. Pretty um, solid. Let's, let's Ultra Space. Sure. For Magneto. This is fun. This deck feels a lot like Night March. Yeah, it, it just is. does. It, it it's pretty similar. Uh, I'm gonna go back in, I think. All things considered, the Orangaroo feels super essential in the deck. I mean, you just need something there to kind of juice your draws up a little bit. Much like the uh, much like the Shrine decks, they just need a little something to help kind of continue drawing. It's just one Orangaroo in the list, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that makes sense. I'm gonna charge up. Yep. Yeah. Is I'm it two Leleys? What, two Lele in this? Or in this. Oh, no, one in the Lost March. Oh, one, one. Okay. Um, 
and I feel like with the four elm, you probably wouldn't need it, but you could put two. I just yeah. don't want to start Lele. Also right. Thing. I wouldn't want two Lele. I might want two Orangaroo. <laughs> two Orangaroo. Uh, no, you just, need Lele, I think. But, yeah. Uh, we could cut the beacon for the second Orangaroo or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna ultra ball these. But there's like no switch cards in this list, right? No. Right. So that is like a little bit sketchy. Just got the three Guzmas. No switch cards. Um, you don't really need it. No, you don't. I mean, just like if some deck decided it was gonna pull up your Rangaru a million times, you'd lose. <laughs> you got three Guzma, you got three DCE. Right. Um, you know, what deck is gonna I guess like a spread deck, but spread deck seems bad against or seems already good against you anyway just because you're a pokemon oh, spread off. decks would be very good against so you. it doesn't really matter if they can bring up the i think tapu coco is going to be this deck's worst enemy yeah yeah um, and i'm gonna cynthia so i was thinking about that i'm not exactly sure what you do against tapu coco you might start to evolve in the way that night march evolved and you know because night march doesn't like getting sniped either and you might just have to have a free retreater in here uh which means that you might have to play escape boards right or something like that if you have an escape board in the deck, or if you have just even just a copy of Tapu Coco uh, or something. Two of my um, two of my fires should have been lost on earlier. Oh right, or what, right. One of them. Yes, so I haven't attacked with that. I haven't attacked with the so sorry guys. All right. Um, and there that. have been there are plenty of energy in here, so there's yeah. no need to worry. Yeah. Um, all right. And good catch, Natalie. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I be stringed just once here to here. Yep. And hmm. Um, like, I have one more B-string. I don't think I'm going to Tons of B-strings. That's crazy. It. Yeah. It's, like, I feel like I'm I'm going to need to get more Naganadals out. I think I prized my Rescue Stretcher. Right. So I feel like I need to... No, it won't matter. I'm going to just... I'm just going to use it. Sure. I mean, let's think about this for a second, though. Look how insane her board position is. Right. If she was playing against any GX deck, there would be no question as to whether or not the GXs were blown up this turn. <laughs> They're most certainly just destroyed. Uh, yeah. There's so much energy acceleration in that deck. All you have to do is just draw into B strings, get some Naganadels into play, and this thing is just rocking. That is absolutely crazy. Draw for turn here. Let's go ahead and we are going to. Oof. Okay. So we're at eight things in the Lost Zone now. Yes. We're going to Lost Mixer. Okay. The skip loom and the energy. So we're gonna throw oh. those two, right. go to nine. And that lets me draw a card, right? Does it? Put two of your cards in the last, then draw a card. Yep. yep. Alright. Uh that's not useful. So then I'm gonna put this DC here, gonna Guzma up a Blacephalon. Okay. And then I'm going to instruct for two. And yep. So we're just gonna go ahead and lost march for knockout okay. there. With perfect nine Pokemon in the Lost Zone, so that sounds pretty good. Definitely pretty good here, but you know, I still need to find an energy. Unfortunately, in order to get that knockout, I had to. Right. Uh, I did have to Lost Mixer away my Grass energy there, so um, potentially that wasn't the right space. play. Maybe I should have just knocked out the active, saved the Grass, said that you know what, I don't think Natalie's going to disrupt my hand next turn. And then just go for game on the plus up on next turn. Exactly. So I shouldn't have done Neither things. of us do. Yeah. Oh, um, that's interesting. Yeah. None of the lists had like judge or anything like that. And I didn't think no. you really want to. I don't right. think you want to judge yourself either of these decks. I'll just uh, see like the thing. I, you know, you did. That was cool to knock that out though, because now I can't knock out your Lele without because it's. Right. Uh, yeah. No. Um. It's turning poison. It's fine. I, I should have just knocked out the active, though. I just should have. Because now that I'm like looking at this hand, like, oh, thank goodness we top decked an Ultra Ball or else. We had a, a hand with three elms in it. Oh, no. Yeah. Goodbye, and some elms. So that's what I was going to say. Like, we might have just got ourselves just super stuck. Um, I have like two grass left, three grass left in deck. So we can get there. We just need to uh, instruct into some things. So, yes, let's see. Trumbeak, I guess. Get him out of the deck. That's nice. Pitches himself into the Lost Zone. So, Natalie also reveals her top deck. See if Are that you gonna gets... play it? Yes, I am going to pitch that Trumbeak there. It's fire. it's fire energy. Okay. We're going to... I guess I don't play a supporter yet. I don't think I You instruct do. first. I think I instruct first, but I, the lecture is in my... Yeah, 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 we instruct first. So, we just instruct yeah. for two. I think 
that's it. I don't think that we can win now. Let's go ahead and great ball. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't do that. I look at the top seven. All oh, right. cheating. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can have another Trumbeak. You can pitch the Trumbeak. Okay. Um, oh, I throw the Trumbeak into the Lost Zone, not the discard. Oh. That's going to take me forever to realize. Yeah, I know. I, I, the energy got me earlier, too. Right. The Lost Zone mechanic is a little odd. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. So let's see here. I think... What's your hand? How many Five. cards? Five cards in hand. <sighs> yep, so we played this a little backwards. That's fine. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's see. I need... Yeah, let's Guzma up the... Um, I think the Lele is the correct choice. I think the Lele is the correct choice. Because I don't have an energy on anything else. Yeah. And then I think that I might actually have to just... You saw that I'm getting energy on my top deck. Though. I do know you're getting energy. All right, so then we leave the yeah. jump buff active and we just... Pass. And then she just has to ask Guzma for yeah, game. Go She's Guzma. got it. So All right. Good game. I All think right. I played myself that game. Yeah, I was surprised that you put the grass in there. Like, I don't I know if you really to... needed to draw that card. Or I, I... The knocking, knocking out that Pokemon was good. What, what else? Didn't you have a... Um... I had... I just... Didn't you have elms in your hand? Why didn't you put an elm in the... In the... I didn't. I drew all those off my prizes. Oh, okay. And off my top okay. deck. Yeah. I was gonna say. So no, it was uh, the cards in my hand were DCE, uh, DCE Grass and Lost Mixer and Skip Loom. So like I, uh, I had to keep. Oh, and Guzma. And I had to keep the Guzma in order to play it on that Blacephalon. But I just I needed to wait one more turn. Right. We needed to just be content knocking out the active and then Guzma for game. We just had game. We had it. I just needed yeah. to. I don't know why I was afraid of getting. Uh, end or something. I was like, that was my thought. I was like, right. I'm gonna get judged out of the win. No, I'm not. Well, that was the cool thing was that that yeah. shut off my um, that shut off my ability to use turning poison on your Lele that turn because then you only had one prize left. And so if I brought oh, it up, okay. I was ignoring your. That was my plan uh, until you brought up the uh, Blacephalon and knocked it out because right. I had three prizes. I was gonna knock out your Lele. Um, but then you knocked it out and you had a DC on the active that and I would just lose. Interesting. So it was a good play, you just couldn't get rid of the grass. Yeah, I know. I just didn't have any other grass. I know, so, yeah. So, so, I mean, like, otherwise I, I think it would have been fine. Right. So, that's fine. I, the thing is, I kind of, like, planned on making that play the turn before. And I was like, I'm just going to Lost Mixer, whatever my top deck is. And then my top deck was, was grass, grass. And uh -huh. I just didn't, I didn't reassess the situation enough. I needed to just wait, knock out the active, Guzma, use the grass for game. So that's my bad, but oh well. Would you like to go first? We are learning. I will go first this game. We should uh, should be a pretty good match. I mean, let's see. I mean, that was definitely a close one. So draw my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great balls in here do seem good. I like that they can go get your skip looms. The great balls looms. are really cool. The skip looms like really help accelerate your Pokemon. It also gets you the Trumbeak because you can't get the Trumbeak anymore. Exactly. And it was like an ultra ball. So the great balls so. just accelerate things. They were I was really when quickly. I was when I was drawing the hands. It seemed to be uh, it seemed to be like the best card in the deck. <laughs> right, honestly, like I was I like, really all right, netball's not that great, but uh, netball's great ball is. good in some situations. It's very it's it's good, but at the end, towards the after your first two turns, it's not good. It yeah. only gets you energy. We're gonna after netball, that. right? Exactly. So we're gonna start off by getting just a hot hip with that netball. And what's weird is that you actually can't trigger that skip loom ability if your hop if the jump off's in your hand. Yes. Right. So that is a little bit. Sketchy, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go get ourselves a hop up here. Then uh, we're off to Great Ball Town. So I love Great Ball seven. Town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, busted uh, draws there. That's yeah, what see? we wanted. It was busted the Lele. Great Ball. Busted if that was a net ball, ball you'd, be, you'd be feeling bad. I'd be feeling real bad. You're right. <laughs> I would not have been doing any. But throwing your trumpets in a lot Any sit, uh, sort of fire there. If that was an old, or if that was a, a nest ball, it's gonna great ball Another again. Another great ball, dude! It's so good. Four. <laughs> Such a good card. Five, six, and seven. All right, this time I Trumby? think. Trumbeak. Oh trumbeak. yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's so good. We are gonna go ahead Four and great use balls that move. Uh, mountain migration there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Reveal. Oh. It's a fire. That's not good. All right. Well, she plays this is a, a quarter. This of is her, a hand. So. A quarter of her deck is fire, so I guess that's to be expected. Then I believe that I go in with Wonder Tag, and I think I'm just going to get myself a Cynthia, honestly. Can you Lily? Hand. I would Lily. Uh, I don't want to keep these Jump Bluffs in my hand. Ah, yes, So no, that is not. my thought of using... <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Using Cynthia. Let's get them right out of here. I would even I would consider, like, anything else, but... Uh, right, no, no, that makes sense. Definitely um, to get these guys back into the deck. So we'll slap the Choice Band in the active, play Cynthia, okay. get those Jump Bluffs back into the deck. If only Blastophilon did a... Um, 
did enough damage with its first attack. That would have been pretty good against. I know, like, right? If I did 20 damage or something, oof. Dude, yeah. we need a burn counter, man. I know. I'm probably not gonna use it. Uh, I have uh, my hand's not good. I'm probably gonna burst GX honestly, so I can take a prize. Oh, burst GX is really good. You yeah. Definitely, I think that is the turn one play. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I probably should have done that. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was discard. Um, I don't know why I thought it was something else, but I didn't even. I, oh, I didn't burst even think GX turn one is so yeah. good. Now that I'm thinking about it, could you have won the game if you have burst GX? Could you have won like earlier? Um, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I would have just needed to knock out your active. Or but that would have changed the whole game too. I mean, yeah. whatever, it's fine. That's we're interesting. Learning. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely learning. One, two, three, four, five, six. You okay. threw a grass away. I didn't burst. I should, yes, you know, yes, whatever. we are learning. These are the first <laughs> games recorded with the deck, so. See, we're gonna bench the hop up here, and then I think uh, let's just go ahead and pass to you. Okay. Yep. I'll draw my fire yep. that I didn't want to draw. Um, Acrobike. Sure. Please save me. <laughs> Oof. All kinda, right. What kind of flames you got there? All right. So Acrobike. here's my here's my conundrum. Yeah. Oh, he. My hand is uh my hand is very full. I at most I can. I can lily for three. Heat factory. I feel like heat factory is the move. You can't. I think so. Can't I don't play it. any counter stadium. I, so. Oh, but then that feels so bad. I don't. I think you just heat factory, and then I you gotta. hope you get the. Uh, what's the supporter that discarded the draw five? Uh, sightseer. I think you hope you get a sightseer. Yeah. Or something. See, this is the, ca the case where sightseer would be good. Yeah, this is the hand you want sightseer uh, for sure. I'm gonna attach. Sure. I'm gonna heat factory. Yeah. Let's go. Well, no, but I don't lose. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna get any poiples down though. No poiples. No poiples. Yikes. All right. Um, At least you get to take a prize. We're gonna burst GX. Oh, uh, for which sure. prize should I get? Uh, Let's I don't do know. This whichever one. one. Let's do this one. This one's is gonna it be a fire. fire. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, well, a quarter of your deck is fire energy, so you have a. I think I put it here. That seems fine. Catch it to one repoke one, so I could put it anywhere. I'm gonna put like it there. Pretty good. Yeah. Gosh, Blacephalon is just so aggressive. That's insane. I'm gonna go ahead and great ball like the top seven. One, two, three. It's busted great four, ball. Four, five. Six seven. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like we go with the Trumbeak there, and we're gonna go ahead. I don't know. I probably put this here, you just think in so? case. Just in case. I only need to attach once to attack on either of them. That's fine. Just in I case. Like that. Yeah, just yeah, in case you knock better. me out. Yeah. I mean, I would hope not, but For sure. oh, Trumbeak here. Yeah. No, nope, stays. All right. So she's got an Agonade L next that's turn. That's not what I want. See, then we are going to. Oh, this is tough. I like hate getting rid of energy in this deck now that I've like played it, but I think I need to ultra ball. I think ball. one is fine. Yeah. You know, it's just you know, that, ultra that ball. was just an unfortunate circumstance. Get the let's get the Yeah, skip bloom. And then we're gonna use that flower away in the sky. Throw them. Get the jump fluff into play. Then we are going to attach the grass and Lily for six. So we do get some draws here. We've only got four, but if we can get two more hop ips, then or two more skip looms, we are going to be cruising here. That would be very good. Help us to get some more Pokemon into Lost. So maybe we can find another Trumbeak. Maybe we can find a Lost Mixer. Bunch of bunch of options here. So six cards: one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Ooh. Okay, all right. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So this is a situation where the beacon guy would be really good. Can you just being able to go grab it? Grab that. Well, let's see. Let me just think you do about. Have free retreat. Let's think about what we got going on here. I do have free retreat. I can't go get it. Okay. Right now, that's just not really. You can an heat factory. Option. Fire energy. Um, I cannot <laughs> heat factory. No, nope, that's not super an option either. So I think that we just, oh, goodness. I, I mean, I'm not drawing a lot right now. I don't have a board. I don't aren't. have any Naganadals. I think you just swing. You think I just swing? I don't know. But Which, then if, I think, like, you, you definitely knock him out, though. I guess. And is I your, just, like, don't like that. Is your hand, like, do you have any way to get, like, more next turn? Do you have another sporter? Do you have, like... Yeah, I feel like I'm, if you like, do, better you for just next swing? turn. No, like, I'm better next turn. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah, we're going to pass. Um... Well, here's the thing is I don't really have anything in my hand, so. Yeah, uh, we're definitely factory. we're definitely good next turn. I just sit on this hand. Oof. Uh, the Elms is so good with this deck. And the reason I, at first I was like, Elms seemed a little underwhelming, but Elms is incredible because you can just Elms and then Lost Mixer too. Here's so a that's conundrum. like a great combo. You can Elms, yeah, go ahead. What's I think up? with my hand, I have Ultra Space in my hand. I think I want to start getting Poiples. But yeah. like, I don't want to counter my Heat Factor because I don't have any draw cards. However, I think you need to get points. Uh, I think so. I need to. Yeah. I think at this point, I, my hand is like self-sufficient as long as I can just 
get some of this out. So right. I'm going to counter. Oh, this goes in the lost zone. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Sure. I don't really know. And it's going to be kind of awkward. Um, and I will ultra space. Yeah. Go ahead and get a people. Yeah. Get the people in the play. Get the people. You get the people with the ultra space. Very cool. And then we got Kickbop GX in the active position. Oh my goodness. Gonna be using that. You're driving me nuts. A startle yeah. head. You're attaching to the bench. Do you have goot? No! Bad. <laughs> Very bad. Oh, goodness, Natalie. Why'd you have to go and do that? <laughs> because, uh. Yeah, so you only to. have to lost zone that one fire on your bench. Yeah. Or I, just... I might do the active just in case. I think the active's better. Um, yeah. Just because I don't want to, like, if you knock us out, then I'm, like, really. Right. Like, you know, I'd have to be string and stuff. So yeah. I'll do that. Um, I take a prize. Okay. This is uh, starting to get a little bit sketchy for me. Let's draw for turn. That's a good top deck there. Okay, so this turn we are definitely going to use Professor Elm's lecture. Oh, thank you for flipping my GX counter over. So, I don't think I forgot. Yes, I did flip your GX counter over. I was definitely hip to that situation. All right, we've got two jump offs in the deck. Do we have two skip looms in the deck? Uh, I have one skip loom in the deck. Do you, All right. have, do you have one in your hand? Uh, did no. Did you draw one or anything? No. Make sure. <laughs> no. Just big right. fat nose. All right, so we're going to get that. We're going to get... That. Yeah. Um, actually, I can send the beacon guy away. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that, that, and then what do I get with my third card? Probably another hop up, I think, still. Let's see. The hop pips. Uh, nope. The hop pips are a dry. Let's see. Oh, that you just grabbed. I'm getting a skip loom. A Did Vulpix. you just grab? You have a hop up right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could yeah. get a hop up. Um, I think I actually saved that. And then, based on what I got going on in this hand over here, okay. let's see. We're going to pitch that. We're going to pitch that. Then, let's see. We could get Natu. I mean, we have, like, a bunch of DCs left in the deck. Like, that's fine. You prob Yeah, you probably get Natu. Probably that's the case. Natu. That's fine. I kind of like that. Sure. You're going to go back in if you and want. And then I am going back in. Yeah. So, we are going to end up... Oh, goodness. What am I doing? Yes, we're doing this. All right. We're going to flower away in the sky. Throw those guys away. So now we're cooking. Now we're doing things, doing what we got to do here. That's very good. So we've got six in the discard pile. I need like nine. So six. Or two more in a choice band. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, we got this. Let's uh, ultra ball away. Oh, goodness. Two more in a choice band. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. There's just a way. There's a way, a rhyme and a reason, and a way we got to do this. And it's just I'm Don't not used to the I'm not used to the ordering of this deck yet. Right. But it's definitely weird. Well, it's weird. You want it to ultra ball stuff. You want to ultra ball stuff away because it feels like Night March. You're yeah. Like, you're like, yeah, I, I can do, do this. So. Ultra balling things away does nothing for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need a lost mixer first. So we're gonna okay. lost mixer away the Vulpix and actually the Jump Bluff as okay. weird as that is. So we're well, gonna you only have one, uh, throw those. Left. Right, that's what I was saying. You know, I only got the Skip Loom, so that all allows you one to draw a card. Oh, that's interesting. And then we were gonna actually, yeah, we were gonna go get our, we were gonna Ultra Ball for a Trumbeak, but now that I'm like looking at it, uh, I think that we just, yeah, we can still Ultra Ball for a Trumbeak and then we have nine. I think I like that. That's like better than trying to hit your last choice That game. or we, because I think you're down, you're down. No, I have it no matter what. You do? Do you have a choice band in hand? Uh, no, but I mean, I, oh, I'm well, good. I have an, I either have an Ultra Ball for Trumbeak or I have Lost Mixer Away my Natu. Okay. I think I actually like Lost Mixer Away my Natu. You think? Yeah. I th and an Elm? Is that or Um, really? No, the Elm's good still. Let's see. My thought was that if I Ultra Ball Away for a Trumbeak, then I'm like... Really paring my hand down in a weird way. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We could Ultra Ball away the Lost Mixer and the Guzma and then bench that Natu, but then the Elm doesn't really help me as much as the... I think I actually like... Let's... Oh, we'd have to pick a Pokemon. Hmm. That's rough. We could Lost Mixer away the Guzma and the Natu? I actually don't mind that. I, don't I want to save the Ultra Ball so I can go get a Rangaroo. Yeah, that's my thought. That's because fine. I need to start I would drawing. say Lost Mixer that then. Yeah, yeah. Because then you draw a card with that too. Exactly. So I'm going to Lost Mixer these away. Don't discard them. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And that'll allow me to draw a card. Nine. That's good. And then I actually am going to just pitch those, go get a Rangaroo now. Yeah. So that is good because I need to start drawing through my deck. And, you know, I had to save that Ultra Ball. I had to. Ditching the Natu is fine because I can just rescue Stretcher this other Natu back after it gets knocked out. 
so on and so forth. So right. that'll just allow us to thin our hand down. The Oranguru really is the key to this whole deck. We need to get the thing out and rolling. Let's instruct for three. One, two, three. And now we're much more stable than we were. Lost March for knockout. That is excellent. Now we can rest easy now that we got the engine kind of up and rolling Naganado. the way that we wanted to. Unfortunately, though, Natalie actually can knock me out with this Naganadel thanks to Beast Ring, right? Yes. So that is uh, sketchy. I don't like that. Uh, we don't want um, to have to attack into these guys. Let's see. I will charge up here. Sure. And she can definitely Beast Ring there. Let's um, see. I've only got play one, one Guzma. One Beast Ring here. Yep. Yeah. And there's just no avoiding the Beast Ring with this deck. I mean, goodness. They just have. So many Ultra Beasts, go four in. Beast Rings. I feel like there's no way to avoid it. You're just beast like, uh, they're just going to get the Beast Ring. I've been sitting turn. on this hand. I mean, like, there's not really any supporters in it, but it's been, that's what I said, it was self-sufficient. Like, I know I can, like, do stuff with it. It's um, kind of how Buzzwell feels with the uh, Brooklyn Hill. Right. You just have energies and Beast Rings, and then you just keep book using Brooklyn Hill like that, you for know. your Pokemon, and then you're just so self-sufficient. Wow, um, this Blastephalon deck looks completely completely nuts like this is really good will uh acrobike and just that burst uh the burst gx is just so good too allowing you to kind of get that head start on a game even against a non-gx deck can make all the difference being able to take a guaranteed prize turn one See, I could go, is uh, really incredible I could go maximum greed here and like off my acrobike mysterious treasure for a lele and get a What's maximum greed? You want to knock out the Lele? Yeah, it's not worth it. I no, I don't think it is. I think yeah. you want to just take yeah. out my attacker. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to attach here. Sure. Um, I'll throw a choice band down. Um, yeah. I'll throw it here. Yeah. And let's... Cynthia, yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Finally, for a minute, I thought I, I thought you uh, shuffle draw supporter there. I thought for a minute, I thought I had three prizes, so I was thinking that I could like Guzma up the Lele and knock it out with Naganade all, but right. I didn't do that yet, so no, so these are like really intense games, very close. Uh, we actually thought it was going to be a blowout this yeah. way. But I guess, like I was saying, we were, I was saying before it, we were like, I think it's favored, but you're like, you don't need a lot. And like, I forgot Naganadal does so much damage. Oh, yeah, um, Naganadal's great. So I think, like, yeah. Three, four, five, six. I mean, you're um, definitely kind of on the, uh, you know, on the front foot here. I would have to take out a Blastephalon to even have a chance. But even then, just having this Lele down is such a liability. Turn I probably poison. want to see if I can build the deck without Lele, honestly. But I feel like you probably Every list it. played Lele. I think you need, yeah. like, I think just one, though. That's the thing. Some uh, played two. It feels so bad, yeah. It does. Two Lele could be good. I mean, I could use Lele right now, actually. I would. I would use Lele right now. Yeah. Right. Let's fly away in the sky. Go get ourselves a... The jump off? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get that thing. Pitch those to the Lost Zone. And as you can see, we're having absolutely no problems getting Pokemon in the Lost Zone. That is not yeah, I think our the, issue. I think the lists were out good for this starting. Yes, so, for sure. But the thing is, like, if you just knock out my Lele right now, you win. And then that's a 2-0 against that Lost March, which is just like... That's so brutal. Like I need to hit, I need to hit um, Guzma like right now, right. you know, or else it's just a uh, it's a lost cause. It ain't happening. So that's uh, that's really that's really stressful. I mean that you really put the pressure on here, especially with that early GX. That's just just something I was not anticipating. So let's go grab this Trumbeak and let's pitch that. Ooh, we're gonna need a third dice at this point. I know, right? So we are doing a ton of damage to the Lost Mark deck. That's very good. But, oh, that uh, Blastephalon deck, just so aggressive. Let's instruct for two. And, um, yeah, um, no. <laughs> we did not get the things that we needed there. So that's kind of rough. We just have to Lost March the active. Natalie has Guzma in hand, but she is going to just knock that thing out. So we Lost March. Very good. Ultra space. Sure. Yup. And she's only got three prizes remaining. She's going to do it with the uh, Naganado. Oh, no. I'm going to go back in. I was like, she promoted the Blacephalon. She ain't got it like that. Oh, but she does have it like that. Oh, my gosh. This is just... Oh, the brutality. That's game. I mean, you just literally have knockout on board against whatever else I do. So uh -huh. you could just Guzma up the... Uh, Guzma up the Lele. Charge up. Oh my gosh. 
That is so crazy. Um, what more could I have done, honestly? I got like a pretty quick knockout on the Bless Epilon. It just wasn't a turn two knockout on the Bless Epilon. It needed to be a turn two knockout. It was a turn three knockout instead. By that time, we were just way too slow. Natalie was able to take two Turning early poison. prizes. Oh my gosh, that is so good. So that attack does 80 plus 80 more damage if you have three prizes remaining. Yes, if you have exactly three. Exactly three. So with the choice band, that's perfect. How many choice bands is that list playing? Two. Just two. So good, though. Uh, at this point, yep, Natalie, you got game on board, so good game. Oh, my gosh. We just got decimated by it wasn't a decimation. cake it was pop close. deck. No, we got decimated. No, you didn't get decimated. Uh, that's fine. I think that the Lele lost us both games. Right. GX was very good for you early on. Yeah. And I think, like, this deck definitely takes a little bit of a curve to learn how to play. Like, I have to do a little bit more practicing with it. I think that... Lost March has a lot going for it and has a lot of promise, but the Blastcephalon deck blew me away. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be super good, actually. I was saying that I think it's good. I, th I thought it was going to be bad. No, uh, I... But it set up really well. So did, I mean, you set up well, too. Yeah, the decks um, both set up well. well the, the lists, lists were good. like, you know... Off. Oh, the lists were not bad. Yeah. I mean, we were going at it, right. like, turn after turn, no, for sure. Yeah, no uh, no silly losses, at least. But, no, so... Um, yeah, I think I think it's a good place to start. I'll put the list in the description. Um... I don't yeah. know. I don't know. What, how do you think this deck does against the rest of the field? Though? I think this Bless Ephelon deck is completely busted. I think it's going to be awesome. Cake like, pops. Let's go. I feel like things are tough when you have to knock out big, you know, big GXs, and you really have to hit your, you know, your B strings because that's stuff fine. Like that. we'll see, You're blowing things up every right. turn. So I'd be interested to see how a deck like that does against like Ray. You right. Know? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like Vika Ray. I feel like it's hard to keep up when you, especially if you miss like a, if you miss a B string, you might just lose. Oh, if Vika Ray right. gets like a turn two knockout on your Bless Ephelon, you're pretty much, you know, probably but, um, not winning that but either way i think it's just a big you know blow them up deck and if that deck kind of tees off and gets an, a turn two knockout on a uh gets a turn two knockout on uh rayquaza then rayquaza just loses just as equally so right yep should be interesting thank you guys for watching the video let me know what do you guys think of the tabletop game in the comments below what do you guys think of the lost march deck what do you guys think of the blastephalon deck Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Shout out to Full Grip Games for putting me up with the studio space. Uh, let us know if you guys want to see any other types of decks from the new sets. I'll try to you know fit some more things in. I want to build a couple decks and try a couple different things. Exactly. So, so. And follow us on Twitter. Yes, but make sure to follow us on Twitter as well at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend. At Natakazam, N-A-T-A-K-A-Z-A-M. Awesome. Uh, you all have a great day. Peace.